Hey everyone, here's a question on factors. The question is, write all factors of each of the following numbers. So we have a two number, the first one is 60, second one is 76. The factors are nothing but uh, in which all number, or which one table this number goes. For example, 60 goes in 2, 3, 4. So 2, 3, 4, all this become a factors of 60. Or we can say that with which all number 60 get divide. Divide means it should properly divide it. The remainder has to be 0. So we can say that all those are all the factors of 60. Now since 60 and 76 are two digit number, we can check from 1 to 10. If the number is like a three digit or more greater, then we have to check from different numbers. Like you have to use trial and error method to get the answer. Now since it's 60 is a smaller number, I'm going to check from 1 to 10, then I'm going to get all the factors because it's a smaller number. Now let's start with the first one, that is one table. So we know that all numbers are, are divisible by 1 or they go in a one table. So from here, we're going to write down 1 into 60 is 60. Yes. Now, this number goes in two table. Yes, it goes. Now, you may know till two tens are 20, but 60 also go. How can I say? Because any number which is uh, like ending with two, like two, four, six, eight and zero. All these numbers, if the number end with two, four, six, eight, zero, these all numbers are divisible by two. So 60 also divisible by two. Now if you don't know by which number it get divided or 2 into what is 60, you can divide 60 here by 2. So 2 3 is a 6. We'll get 0. Drop this 0 here. So 2 0 is a 0. Subtracted, we got remainder 0. So you can see 30 we got. So 2 into 30 is 60. So 2 into 30 is equal to 60. Now, this number goes in 3 table. Yes, it goes because 3 2s are 6 and we have a 6 here, right? So, it goes. So, 3 into. Same way, if you don't know which number, which number we should multiply, divide it. So, 60 divide by 3. Okay. So, we're going to divide here 60 by 3. So, 3 2s are 6. We get 3 0. Drop this 0 here. So, 2 0 is a 0. So, 3 0 is a 0. So, we got 0 here. So we should get 0 here in the remainder. Then only we can say it's completely divisible. So 3 into 20 is 60. So 20 is equal to 60. So next number is 4. We're going to check with 4 also. So divide here 60 and then 4. So 4 ones are 4. We get 2 as a remainder in this step. So drop this 0. And 4 5 is a 20. We got the remainder 0. So 4 into 15 is 60. So 4 into 15 is equal to 60. The next number is 5. It goes in 5 table also because any number which end with 0 and 5, they go in 5 table. So if you don't know with which number we should multiply, so divide. So 5 ones are 5. Remainder is 1. Drop the 0. So we got 10. So 5 twos are 10. So we got remainder 0 means so 5 twelves are is 60. So 5 into 12 is equal to 60. Then we know 6 table, 6 tens are 60, right? Yes. Then 7, it doesn't go because uh, we don't get 60 in 7 table. Same in 8 also, 9 also. And in 10 table it goes. But if you see here, I have already written 10 into 6 is 60, right? I have written 10, 6 are 60 or 6, 10, 60. So we don't have to write again 10 into 6 is equal to 60 because they both are same here. 6, 10 or 10, 6 are anything. So we're going to stop here. So we have seen all the tables from 1 to 10 and we have got this. So from here, we're going to say that therefore factors of 60 will be factors of 60 is equal to we have to write down all this number from 1 2 3 4 5 6 and then 10 12 15 20 30 and 60 all these numbers are factors of 60 okay so factors of 60 is equal to 1 2 3 4 5 6 10 12 15 20 30 and the last one is 60 the number itself so these are the factors of 60 
then we're going to do the same thing for 76 we're going to check the same way from 1 to 10 table we're going to check and we're going to get the factors of 76 so let me erase this okay so second number we have here is 76 so we're going to start with one table so 1 into 76 is equal to 76 then 2 into it goes in two table also because the number is ending with 6 like I just mentioned before any number which end with 2 4 6 8 0 it goes in two table so 2 3 is a 6 1 is a remainder drop the 6 so 2 8 is a 16 we got remainder 0 so 2 into 38 is equal to 76 now does it go in three table we don't know right if you know you can proceed further if you don't know you can check the answer like you can divide 76 by 3 so 3 2 is a 6 remainder is 1 drop this 6 here now 16 doesn't go right so 3 5 is a 15 we got remainder 1 and we cannot divide this further so we got remainder 1 means this number doesn't go in 3 table we should get remainder 0 then only this number is completely divisible or this number goes in that table so here this 76 doesn't go in 3 table that is why we got the remainder 1 so next we are going to check 4 table so 76 and here we are going to divide with 4 so 4 ones are 4 3 is a remainder drop the 6 so three, 4 nines are 36 so remainder is 0 so this number goes so 4 into 19 so 4 into 19 is equal to 76 now 6 uh, next number is 5 it doesn't go in 5 table because in 5 table the number always end with either 0 or 5 so we don't have to check the 5 table because we have a 6 here the next number is 6 so 76 we are going to divide with 6 so 6 ones are 6 subtract it 1 is a remainder drop the 6 now 6 2's are 12 we're getting a remainder 4 which means it doesn't go in 6 table now 7 table see 7 tens are 70 and 7 into 11 is 77 so we're not getting 76 in 7 table and if you check in 8 table also we don't get 76 in 9 table also we don't get 76 in 10 table also we don't get it so from here we can say that only this only 6 factors we got here so therefore factors of 76 are we have to write from here 1 2 4 1 2 4 and 19 38 76 19 38 and the last one is 76 so that's it we have done this question i hope it's clear in case you have any other question or doubt you can drop a comment thank you so much for watching